The revolutionary change, observed in agricultural practices, encompasses innovative farming techniques. These methodologies, such as the implementation of natural barriers to mitigate sand encroachment and enhance moisture retention in the soil, have markedly improved agricultural productivity. Furthermore, this initiative forms a crucial component of a broader, anti-decertification campaign. Over the years, it has significantly transformed Inner Mongolia, converting barren landscapes into verdant, thriving areas, a success that can be largely credited to decades of dedicated government efforts. In addition to these strategies, rabbits play a pivotal role within the ecosystem. By consuming willow shoots, they promote plant growth, which in turn aids in maintaining soil stability. This symbiotic relationship proves vital for the process of desert reclamation. Moreover, rabbits contribute significantly to soil fertility, fulfilling multiple functions within local agricultural systems. Their presence not only provides essential nutrition, but also enhances land quality in desert regions, with their waste being particularly beneficial for crop production. The introduction of willows, coupled with sustainable farming methods, has led to a notable increase in agricultural productivity and economic development for local communities over the past decade. This transition underscores the potential economic benefits of sustainable agricultural practices in an innovative stride. The establishment of a large solar power plant in an area previously deemed barren illustrates the successful integration of renewable energy solutions this development highlights. The potential of transforming unproductive lands into valuable ecological assets. In addition, the solar panels installed not only generate energy, but also provide a suitable habitat for livestock and crops. This dual-use strategy fosters a sustainable ecological environment, creating synergies between agricultural practices and renewable energy sectors. The Huanma solar plant stands as a testament to these efforts transforming 2,600 acres of desert land into a more fertile region. This significant transformation has markedly improved living conditions for various wildlife, thus illustrating the effectiveness of sound environmental management employing animals, such as rabbits and sheep, beneath solar panels facilitates natural weed control, thereby promoting biodiversity, while simultaneously diminishing reliance on chemical interventions. This innovative approach effectively supports the ecosystem. In addition to these strategies, ducks have exhibited a remarkable capacity to diminish locust populations by as much as 95% in certain areas. This underscores their effectiveness as a natural method of pest control, highlighting the role of biodiversity in agricultural systems however. Despite their effectiveness in pest management, ducks do require significant water resources and tend to struggle in high temperature environments. This limitation necessitates the exploration of alternative pest control methods suitable for these challenging conditions. The escalating issue of decertification in regions, such as Inner Mongolia is being proactively addressed through the integration of livestock, including Tibetan cows. This strategy aims to stabilize soil and enhance ecosystem recovery, showcasing an innovative approach to environmental challenges despite challenges. It is essential to recognize that overgrazing by goats can disrupt grasslands nevertheless. They play a vital role in natural soil cycles, facilitating plant growth through natural fertilization. This inherent duality is crucial for the resilience of ecosystems long-term of China. For combating desertification, incorporate sustainable livestock management alongside effective water resource allocation. This multifaceted approach is aimed at preserving biodiversity and preventing land degradation in critical agricultural regions. Ultimately successful, Environmental restoration necessitates a collaborative effort among governments, farmers and scientists such cooperation. Combined with adequate time and resources, is essential to implement effective recovery plans and ensure the protection of ecosystems in the long run.